All right, so on this one, we're actually going to be doing one big ass experiment. If I remember correctly, I saw some kind of video on TikTok or Instagram or something about a year ago, and I thought it was a really smart idea. So we have made stamps um, of bark, of knot holes, of stone textures. And so there's this particular brand. I don't want to say the name, but it's very expensive. It works really good. But I seen this guy. He took 100% silicone. And he took water with like Dawn dish soap in there. I can't remember and I can't find the video, but he squeezed the silicone into the Dawn dish soap. And he took, and when he put his hands in there, the soap kept his hands from sticking to the silicone. And he also took another bucket with water and Dawn dish soap and he basically coated this whole stone. So if you look right here, you'll see this gnarly texture. This would look really cool. Um, if you're doing vertical carving or on borders or something like that. So I really want to try to pull the texture out of that. And if you skip down a stone, you see the texture on there. That's completely different. I think it looks really cool. So we're actually going to be trying this on these two stones. We have cleaned them, got all the dirt off. So our next step is we're actually going to take this Dawn dish soap and a scrub brush. I put a lot of Dawn in both of these. One of these is just to coat the stone to make it soapy so the silicone doesn't stick to the stone. The other one is for our silicone. So hopefully this works. Hopefully I got the right silicone. This is 100% silicone. It's supposed to be waterproof. Like I said, this could be a total failure, but we're going to give it a shot. So first step we're going to do is we pre-wet these. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take and just scrub this on here and make this nice and soapy. And I may do this again. When we squeeze the silicone in here, I may go ahead and do that again. Once again, we're just trying to get the texture off of this stone. You could do this on wood. You could do it on anything. So this Dawn dish soap will keep this hopefully from sticking and definitely not sticking to our hands. So that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do, we're probably not gonna record much of this. Um, we have two cases of silicone here and we're basically just gonna be cutting the tops. And I'm gonna have Riley cut the camera off in just a second so he can help me squeeze all these in this bucket of water and Dawn dish soap. And then uh, we'll show you guys the next step and wish us luck, hope it works and hope it helps. So I got the silicone here and I'm basically just squeezing this in here. Like I said, one big ass experiment. No idea if this is going to work, but what I, I am liking what I'm seeing about how it stands separated in there. That's a good sign. So we're going to try to squeeze a whole case of that shit, about 10 or 12 of them in here real quick and then see if we can put our hands in there and if that soap will actually keep our hands from sticking to the silicone. If we can make a mold out of this or a big ball, almost like a Play-Doh and see how it works. Okay, so we got nine tubes of silicone in here. You can see our bucket's pretty much full. Take a closer look. I'm really liking how this is looking, that it's not just falling apart. It basically is holding its shape, which is what we want. Um, it is sticking to the bucket when we get it on the side of the bucket, but that's okay. So as soon as this, this tube is done here, I think what I'm gonna do is just recoat that again to make sure that it's all wet everywhere. I don't know how much of that stone we're gonna be able to cover. But um, as soon as this, this tube is out, I think another thing just to make sure is I'm going to coat my hands really good with Dawn dish soap, just straight Dawn, so they're like super slimy, and hopefully that stuff doesn't stick to my hands. I have no idea. I may put my hands in there and the shit stick and just be a, a mess, a disaster, but we're going to find out together. So uh, I'm going to just finish this one tube, and then we'll show um, the Dawn dish soap and see if it actually works. All right, so I'm coating my hands really good with this Dawn dish soap. God, this may be work perfect and this may suck because y'all know how silicone is. It can be some nasty stuff. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put my hands in here. Oh, dude, it seems like it's going to work. Look. Look, it's not sticking to my hands at all. Nice, man. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's get all this put together in one big ass ball. And I think what we should do, I'm, I, I'm not sure about all those suds right there. If that's going to create air pockets. I think we may actually grab our little electric blower and blow off some of those suds. All right, so Riley uh, took the electric blower and blew off some of these suds. You can see it doesn't have so many bubbles. So here we go. Trial number two. See if this will work. This is coming up in one big ass glob. I'm going to put this on. Oh, damn beach ball. Now, one thing I'm going to try to do is leave a little thickness to this. I mean, I would say at 
least a quarter inch, if not a half inch. So I'm trying to spread this out to pick up as much of this texture as we can. Try to make it as even as we can. We do not want this stuff to break. You want it to have a little bit of strength to it. All right, I think that's pretty good. And uh, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back here in a little bit and see how it looks, see what happens. All right, guys, it's been about three hours. What we have done is come out here and tried to keep this stone wet right here. So I, I'm gonna lie to you, I did cheat a little bit. I've been curious. I, I didn't know if it would stick to the stone or if it would work at all. But the top is set up. It's still a little bit soft, but it's not sticking to my hand, which does not have Don dish soap on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. Let's see what we got. And I gotta be honest, I mean, it's stuck in a couple spots, but I'm pretty stoked on that texture right there. What a cool way to make some, some texture one-off. Nobody else will have this in the world to be the only one like it. I uh, hope this helps, and uh, I'd say we, we, this was a success. So, appreciate y'all watching.